Welcome to Feed Dump. It's summertime and we are things that are delicious on the barbecue. I am steak dripping with juices and slathered in sauce. Joining me this week is chicken. Remember to cook me well or I will kill you. And minotaur. Half red meat, half white meat, all organic. And we hear some people barbecue vegetables as well. A man in Pennsylvania has been charged with stealing from a Pennsylvania hospital $350,000 worth of skin. Sorry, did you say skim as in milk? No, skin with an N as in human skin. Though I don't know the fat content offhand. Thank you, just checking. Ah! I imagine this is just featureless skin to be used for skin grafts and stuff, but the first thing I think of when you said he stole a bunch of skin was just a whole bunch of what looked like deflated people. Just, like, lying in a whole pile. Ugh, that would just make the worst rug. It would not tie the room together. I mean, maybe it would, if you wanted to tie your room together with a motif of horror and terror and screaming guests. I mean, to each his own when it comes to interior decor. Okay, so now, theoretically, there's $350,000 worth of black market skin around. So, what do you do with that? Is it just, like, some guy in an alley? With skin in his coat? You want your skin grafts? I got your skin grafts right here. Give you some nice Asian skin, black skin, or my special this week, Latino skin. So I don't know how much better this makes it, but this was laboratory grown skin from human skin cells used for skin grafts. And the guy who stole it is a skin graft salesman who just jacked it from the hospital so presumably he could sell it to other hospitals i guess you're crushing my dreams that he's just some sort of weird freak and he's just taking it home to eat on like a salad like bacon bits oh that's your dream <laughs> well i mean one of my dreams so in other news skin graft salesman is a job apparently it's a job and there's at least one opening i can see the skin graft salesman job as being actually quite complicated because you got to match, like, the person's skin color and, like, texture to the person who's already there. And maybe people want to upgrade to, like, different kinds of skin. Okay, so because of these horrific burns, I realize that you have to replace all the skin on my thigh. But I was wondering if you could not give me regular thigh skin. Could I have skin with a tit on it so I could have three boobs? Uh, give me a new career option or just something to play with when I'm bored. While the skin is probably the strangest theft this week, two men in Cambridge, Ontario were arrested for stealing some grease from behind a restaurant. No, that's weirder. Because even though I don't know what you do with skin, I can conceive of a world where someone would want to buy human skin for some reason. Why would you want restaurant grease? What if these two things are related? What evil could you get up to with a bunch of extra skin and a bunch of stolen grease. The Denny's Cannibal Slam. Worst slip and slide ever? Worst amateur musical production of Grease ever. I feel like all of these answers are gonna end with worst ever. Much like the skin, they don't know exactly what these guys wanted to do with the grease, but they are being charged with theft under $5,000. Way, way, way under $5,000. In this year's annual Cotswold Olympic Games, spelled O-L-I-M-P-I-C-K to avoid copyright, in the Cotswolds in England, a Vancouver man sporting a Vancouver Canucks jersey defeated the reigning UK champion at the lovely game of shin kicking. Is there some subtlety to this game that I'm missing? Or is it just people kicking each other's shins? I feel that the person who goes first has a distinct advantage. Hey, you want to play shin kicking? I go first. Ah! There has to be at least some sort of regulation in terms of what kind of footwear you can wear. Surprisingly, cleats? Okay. While I don't believe there are footwear restrictions, though I imagine cleats would be considered unsportsmanlike, you are allowed to stuff hay down your trousers to protect your shins a little bit, and the contest is two people kick each other in the shins until one of them falls over. Okay, so say you win at shin kicking. You still have had your shins kicked a lot, just slightly less than so incredibly painful that you had to fall over. And now you have to go through the rest of your life with bruised shins. No, no, no. You get to go through the rest of your life with bruised shins and an off-brand Olympic medal. And that is priceless, I'm sure. What kind of other sports, and I use the term very loosely, do you think they have in the Olympics? I think one of them is probably drowny welly, which is who can drown in a well the fastest. Single mm. elimination offs. Mm. 
There's the old uh, elbow to the sternum. Mm, popular, popular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to think there's eye socket finger lacrosse, which is just fingers going into eye sockets. The lacrosse part mostly played down. It's kind of a holdover title-wise, but you know. Uh, oh, there's cliff diving, but not into the water. It's just off a cliff. It's just off a cliff onto the ground. That's also single elimination, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking at the schedule for the Cotswold Olympics. Uh, at 7.30, the official opening. At 7.45, the Championship of the Hill, which is the parade of teams who compete in a succession of rural sports beginning with the traditional obstacle race. At 8.15, the Olympic five-mile run through the grounds of Camden House. At uh, 8.30, the Champion of the Hill, throwing the hammer, putting the shot, a standing jump, and spurning the bar. At 8.45, shin-kicking heats. At 9.15, the tug-of-war final. At 9.30, the finals of the world championship, shin-kicking. It is, in fact, the main event. Other activities. Face painting, fairground, virtual paintball. That's laser tag. Birds of prey, which I assume just means watching a hawk. The fairground organ. <laughs> and bungee jumping. I don't know. I feel that now that I've heard more about the Olympics, it sounds actually really quaint. And I think if there's any one place that Feed Dump deserves to go on a field trip, it's to rural England for a celebration of idiocy. You want to go to England to get your shins kicked? No, no. I want to go to England to observe other people having their shins kicked in the name of journalism. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That's the thing we do. Somebody remind us about this next March. Until next time, remember, there may be better sources for news, but they don't have this hat, which is a cupcake. And now I have cupcake head. And now I want a cupcake. So I don't know if that's just because I'm thinking about cupcakes or if the hat has powers. But I desire frosting. <laughs> Minotaur. Minotario.